Hi everybody, how are you doing today? I'm here today to talk to you about some library skills and today's library skills have to do with the Dewey Decimal System. Do you know what the Dewey Decimal System is? It's a way of grouping books together by subject so that we can find them easily on the shelf and when we're done with them we can put them back on the shelf in the same place so someone else can find them. Dewey Decimal System has been around for quite a while. Um, it was first used in 1876 and it was invented by a man named Melville Dewey. Melville, that is his name. And we use it here at Lewiston Public Library and we're gonna practice using it today. Are you ready to work on your library skills? Let's go. The Dewey Decimal System is used for nonfiction. That means things that are based on facts, real events, and real people. So for example, if we were looking for something about horses or volcanoes, we'd be looking for books with facts about horses or volcanoes. If we were looking for stories about horses or volcanoes or both, that would be in the fiction section, which we're not talking about that today. The Dewey Decimal System groups nonfiction books, DVDs, audiobooks, and other items together in groups by subject using numbers. So this is the Dewey Decimal System in a really big overview and you don't need to worry about learning this to find books because we can use our library computer for that. But if you were to guess where volcanoes might be on this list, where do you think those might be? Hmm, computer, religion, language, oh, maybe pure science? Let's see. Oh, that's right, volcanoes are in pure science, so they would be in the 500s, and we're going to go find that in just a moment. How about horses? On this list, where would we put horses? Let's see, computer, maybe science again? Hmm, horses, well, they're going to be in technology? I don't know why they're in technology. There's a good reason for it, I'm sure, but sometimes when you're trying to guess where something would be, it doesn't always make complete sense. So that's why we're going to use our library computer to find what we're looking for. This is one of our computers that we use to look up things. You can look up anything that you're interested in, and you're going to type it right in here. I'm going to start with horses. And then I'm going to click the submit button. Click. And it's going to think about it. And, oh, look at that. These are all books about horses. Look at all of them. There's a lot. And if you see an F next to it, that means fiction. That's a book. Let's see, there's another one. But I'm interested in facts about horses. So I want a number. That's what we're going to go find. That's the Dewey decimal number. So I wrote down that number on our paper and we're going to go find it out here. Let's see. For 636. So I think this is too high. Let's try down here. Oh, 636. That's too high. Oh, maybe in here. Let's go down this aisle. Oh, it's right here. 636. And I need point 0.1. So here's a point 0.1. But that has an S, and I'm looking for an H. But we're in the right area because look what this says. It's horses. We're in the horse area. So when you find a number in the computer that gives you a number, if you go to that number, you're going to find, usually, you're going to find more than one book on that subject. But I'm looking for this specific book. So let me back up some more. 636.1 H. Oh, where is it hiding? Oh, 
I don't see my book, but I see a lot of other books I like. I think I'm gonna get this one. Ta-da! Horses! And remember, these are the books with facts. We call them nonfiction. So it's gonna tell you all kinds of things about whatever you're looking up. This is a really good one. It has lots of good pictures. If you like horses. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do volcanoes. So remember, we get to type volcanoes in this box. We have keyword, and then we need to put it in there. Can I spell volcanoes? Let's just put volcano. Okay, and then we have to click the submit button. Click. And we have to let the computer think. <gasps> there we go. So this is a kind of book, a paperback book. Here's something in teen. Oh, there's one. Remember the number is our nonfiction. That's the book about, that's the book with the facts. So let's go check that number out in our shelves. So the volcano number that I wrote down is 551.21. So we want to go to try to find that number over here. between this number and this number. So let's see what we've got. Five, five, one. <gasps> Ooh. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, volcanoes and earthquakes. Ooh, here's one about how to make your own volcano. Let's see if I go to this number, 551.21, I'm gonna find a lot of different books about volcanoes. So that's it for today. We hope that you learned something about our Dewey Decimal System, and if not, please feel free to ask a librarian when you come visit us during a browsing session, or you can call us on the phone too. Please ask us anytime you have questions about using the Dewey Decimal System or any part of our library. We are happy to help. See you next time. Bye!